So we borrowed this vehicle from my mother-in-law and I've been using it the past uh, week or so. So I got the uh, time to uh, get the feel, uh, performance and handling of this vehicle. Uh, so it, it's, um, it's four door. And uh, it's, uh, uh, it's similar to a RAD Toyota. And uh, of course, it has uh, features. It has a backup camera and uh, sensors to detect uh, when backing out uh, if it's close to an object uh, as it as uh, back out. The uh, the seats uh, uh, they're okay. It's a little bit tight, and uh, that's that's how it is with this kind of models. Compact. So the uh, passenger side. Um, this is the uh, display. It displays uh, rear, uh, rear view as uh, it, you back it up. Um, it, uh, it comes with standard stuff. As you can as you can tell, I'm not much into you know cars, but I do have opinion on uh, uh, the uh, handling. So that's that's basically uh, what I'm getting at. So I've been driving this. And uh, one other thing I notice about the handling is my arm gets tired. It has an unusual behavior. As I uh, accelerate or pass other vehicle, it tends to pull. Uh, it has uh, track control, but when I'm pulling, it either pulls to the left or to the right, and, and, and it just makes my arm tired. Uh, the dash, uh, lots of inf information. It really is, uh, you can get overwhelmed with the information uh, sometimes. Uh, but, uh, the buttons to change display is here on the uh, steering column or steering wheel. Um, it, takes, it takes getting used to. And of course, all of these controls, uh, locks, lock control, uh, toggling the, uh, the mirror, The one one thing I, I did I did like for this is uh, this controls the the, the headlights. It uh, controls the the position of the headlight. It goes up or down. And I, I like the headlights to be a little bit high so I can see more than 20 meters in front of me at night. So that's one thing I like. Um, do I like anything else? Uh, the 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 ride is somewhat smooth um, much better than the uh, pickup truck it's a little bit quiet actually I was I was surprised by the quietness uh, with the VS it's really noisy as you drive through the highway uh, pickup truck is even worse it has that sound clickety clackety sound but this one it, it's really quiet so uh, uh, the cabin uh, actually uh, reduces the amount of noise coming from the outside. So that's that's a that's a feature that I like. Uh, do I like anything else? Uh, <laughs> I guess uh, I guess that. So this this is the housing. Um, the the thing is about this, it ha it has three cylinders. So. Um, uh, it, it's it's all right. It it has some pickup, um, but I think I would have preferred it if it has four cylinder. Uh, I did notice that as I press the acceleration uh, accelerator, it it sort of retard, um, and I find that disturbing. When you're accelerating, 
uh, it downshifts uh, and then kind of feels like it's going to slow down, which it does. So uh, then it picks up again. It, it, it's like kicking. And then, the, it, like I said, it, it falls left or right, and it just, it's just disturbing. Um, so I'm, my, my arm gets tired because I'm constantly uh, under tension. So uh, I think that's one thing I don't like about this vehicle is that my arm gets tired. Again, this is just an opinion. It's, it's my, uh, uh, my observation of the vehicle's uh, behavior. It has some other features, but uh, when I'm looking at long distance driving, I like my comfort. So, and the other thing too is uh, it, it, the gasoline tank is about 50 liters. Man, it drinks gasoline. 10.5 um, liter per 100 kilometers. So if you're driving 100 kilometers, it will drink 10 liters. So, uh, you know, if, if you're uh, thinking, well, it has 50 liters, well, you can only go 500 uh, kilometers on the full tank. Uh, that's all right, I suppose, if you're living in North America. Here, you're out of pocket ASAP. 